Right now at six, new details emerging about the school bus driver who authorities say flipped a school bus this morning in Burke County. Thanks for sticking with us for the news at six. I'm Vanessa Rufus. And I'm Colin Mayfield. This happened on Johnson Bridge Road. Now this crash sent nine students, the driver and a driver's aide to the hospital. And now, as we mentioned, the woman behind the wheel is facing charges. Our Kaylin Hagwood did some digging and found out she has a list of offenses on her driving record. I'm here on Johnson Bridge Road. That crash happening in this field just behind me. Investigators have been taking photos and reviewing camera footage from the bus as part of the investigation. Parents of the students on board hoping for answers soon. Investigators say nine kids and two adults were rushed to the hospital after school bus driver Carol Barnes lost control, flipping the bus Tuesday morning. This is surveillance video from the Express Fuels gas station near the crash as an ambulance and state trooper head to the scene. The area blocked off to traffic as more first responders arrived. Sean Cole, who works inside the Express Fuels, says parents showed up wondering if their kids were okay. But all the parents were ended up just standing here kind of crying and un unknowing of what happened to their kids. They tried to rush down to actually get to their children on the bus. The REACT team from the police department wouldn't let anyone through, so this was about as close as you could get. Barnes now charged with failure to maintain lane control. While all the students are okay, the bus monitor is still recovering after being airlifted from the scene. It's just kind of crazy how, how often this seems to happen around here and people don't think that that road's dangerous. Burke County Schools Superintendent Dr. Mike Swan responding to the crash saying, quote, we are grateful that except for some bumps and bruises, the students involved in this morning's bus incident are doing well. We will continue to provide support to them as they heal physically and emotionally. We are also grateful that the bus driver's injuries appear to be minor as well. Our thoughts and prayers continue to go out to the bus monitor and her family. The crash remains under investigation. Reporting in Burke County, Kaylin Hagwood, WCNC Charlotte. And it sounds like there are still a ton of questions surrounding this story from folks out there. So tonight at 11, we are digging a little deeper. Our verified team is taking a closer look at the books to break down the requirements to be a bus driver here in the Carolinas. We will also verify the fact or verify fact check and have much more coming up on our late newscast.